members of Parliament devote countless hours doing what they can to address a diverse range of issues faced by residents, business owners, and organizations in their ridings. We get a sense of that as we spend the day with New Democrat MP Mike Sullivan in his riding of York Southwestern in Ontario during Constituency Week. You guys know that I'm a member of Parliament, so this yeah. is the federal uh, level of government. I spend half my time in Ottawa, half my time here. They may still be too young to vote, but members of the politics club at York Memorial Collegiate Institute are learning some valuable lessons about the democratic process from MP Mike Sullivan. But what does an MP, like say they go to Ottawa, like what kind of tasks would they, would they do to, in order to be effective? the candidate? There's essentially uh, two major tasks. As a member of the official opposition, we're holding the government's feet to the fire. Oh, yeah. Mr. Speaker, this bill fulfills Canada's treaty obligations. Sullivan was first elected to the House of Commons in 2011. The Detroit-born Windsor, Ontario-raised MP is the deputy critic for persons with disabilities, chair of the NDP's Rail Caucus, and serves on the Standing Committee on Transport, Infrastructure and Communities. You're the riding's first New Democrat MP since 1974 when then-Federal Party leader David Lewis was defeated. So talk to me about the significance of taking on this role. It's great that the NDP is back in the riding. Um, the NDP is the, the party of ordinary working Canadians. And that's what this riding is made up of, is ordinary working Canadians. So I feel as a connection uh, as being part of the NDP to the people that live in this riding. And that's a wonderful thing to have back in this riding. The largely working class riding is home to about 117,000 people, mostly immigrants. The area has the second lowest average household income in Ontario, following the loss of thousands of manufacturing jobs over the last few decades. Currently, the area's largest employer is Irving Tissue, which produces Royale paper products. One of the things we're trying to do is to bring some jobs back. It's jobs that are the key to keeping people employed, to keeping people having, keeping their heads above water, to raising the standard of living, and that's one of the most important jobs we can do here. He notes some other challenges in the riding. With poverty comes other social ills. Mental illness is, is a problem in the riding. Uh, there are a number of disabled people in the riding because the housing's cheap. It tends to be a place where people who can't, who don't have a lot of money end up living. Uh, with poverty comes crime. And the riding, uh, I wouldn't say it's crime ridden, uh, but certainly there is a sense among some of the neighborhoods that it's not as safe a place to be as in other parts of Toronto. And so uh, you end up with uh, a, a melange of, of problems that we try and resolve. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to Canada's first carpet recycling facility. What a great idea. Making a, great a difference idea. in the community is Carpet Cycle Canada, a recycling facility that prevents carpets from ending up in landfills. Sullivan is given a tour by company VP Kelly McKay. This pile here that you see represents maybe three dump trucks that have come from the region of Peel. Why did you want to highlight the work that Carpet Cycle Canada does in your community? It's a triple win. These people, not only do they remove stuff from landfills, they turn a product back into a raw material that can be used to build another product, and they're employing people in the riding. The number one problem in the riding is jobs. So we have three wins here. So you said I'm, I'm, I'm actually in a bunch of newsletters? Oh, you are, yes. Really? Next on the agenda is a visit and tour of St. Clair West Services for Seniors, a nonprofit agency that provides programs and support services for seniors, as well as disabled adults. More than 16,000 residents in the riding are seniors. It's with uh, great pleasure that Rosario is here to speak to you on behalf of his riding and on behalf of the NDP at Queen's Park. That evening, Sullivan co-hosts a town hall forum with a provincial politician to discuss some condo owners' concerns. Evolving in his role over the last year and a half, Sullivan remarks on the general connection between work he does in the riding and on Parliament Hill. When uh, a local organization needs money for a, uh, accessibility because there's disabled people need to get into their building, the federal government actually provides that kind of thing, and I have some influence over whether that money gets, gets provided. So I'm learning 
some of the ways that the system works. I'm also learning some of the challenges that people face and uh, trying to figure out how to best overcome those challenges. Mm -hmm.